all of the content. So we're going to give you. Some, we're not going to you know give you one and then not anymore. So we haven't really released information yet, but enough for you to have all the fun you need to have, basically. So you traveled with this super boost of flying speed. I'm assuming there's activity or capabilities from an acrobat or a yeah, they speed. have the jet assisted rocket assisted glide for an acrobat, and then speedsters have just super speed boosts. Uh, it, it goes really super fast on the ground. Yeah. Speedsters get to stick in these faster surfaces. super speed. Yeah, it's <laughs> super duper. Super, super speed. So yeah, though, there's there's combat, uh, utilitarian sort of upgrades for those powers themselves, and boost modes that you can upgrade to. Will you be able to be both a hero and a villain on the same server? Yeah, you just can't be on the same character. Because okay. heroes and villains can talk to one another. I'm right. Yeah. Well, right right now they sure can. Well, anybody right. you can, can see the results of it right now on our <laughs> PvP <laughs> server. It's so. a little bit more exciting yeah. on, the, on the PvP server. It's yeah. funny because some people you can't tell right now based on the chat. So some people are like going like, hey, Yeah, hey, I've kind of used it. <laughs> some of the PvP server was like, hey, are there any heroes who need help? And they're like, yeah, we're over here. And I'm a villain. And then I go over and I can't tell So, yeah. What we're going to do is we actually are in the next uh, beta push we have, we're actually starting to sort some of this out. But ultimately, you got to have heroes and villains talk to each other. We just want it to be opt-in rather than yeah. a shout that goes across the city. So we're going to put a versus channel in that basically lets heroes and villains, if they want to monologue, oh, I'm going to get you, they can, without annoying everybody else who's trying to play the game. Because right now, it's a little free-for-all as they shout and beat on each other and, of course, get very upset. On the backpacks, are you going to have different kind of like rocket packs, like different designs? There's all sorts of different back items. There's different jet packs, there's mechanical wings, there's demonic wings, there's angelic stuff. There's all different kinds of stuff. Some of it starts off in character create, but basically we designed all the gear in the game around suit concepts. So for every suit, there's every piece, including a back. So there's dozens and dozens of those, right? Thousands of individual items throughout the game and different looks. And of course, since you have control over color, we didn't just take the same breastplate and tint it differently to make a new item. We had to make new ones for all of those different types of rewards that you felt rewarded by. Hey, plans for small Yeah, we're working on those. It depends on, on the PC. It makes a lot more sense necessarily than the PS3, but we also will support sort of can chat and quick chat so you can talk to everyone. Just a general question. I know the release date pushed out to, to like January. But when you launched EverQuest 2, you launched the character creation before the actual game. In order to reverse the effects on Is that something that you've at least talked about potentially allowing? Maybe a, a pre-order. No, actually, with this game, we're going to keep it all together and promote it as that. We're having, you know, an extensive and sort of thorough beta to deal with those issues and go with it. And really, want people in playing it as we have the beta players now, getting feedback and testing it through. So we've decided to keep it all as one bundle, especially since it's so integrated into the concept of who your character is. Yeah. So instead of a pre-order, you're getting the um, the character create. Where actually, when you pre-order, you get into the you know, you get into the beta. So right. You know, okay. you guys and of course, you get to only then play as Batman in the Legend system if you pre-order. So Smallville. That's right. Smallville may be a little bit famous, probably the most famous town within the DC universe. And Wes and Kyle are going to take us through a lesson in physics. Yeah. So um, physics. You know, when you think about physics, it's all it's all about kind of uh, action and reaction, right? Well, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I'm twisting Newton's idea a little bit wrong, but but we have we have cool physics because not only you know is it is it video game physics, but it's comic book physics. So so we incorporate a lot of that into the game here. Uh, we have Kyle with one of his characters there, uh, who is a big guy with um, ice powers. And uh, do you have a staff this time, or are you still brawling? No, I want dual wield this time. Oh, dual wield, OK. So as you see, he can pick up these huge bales of hay, and all the um, objects in the environment around him, he can use as a weapon. Uh, you also saw kind of previously uh, uh, Jens' mechanic inside of uh, the sewers, where you actually transport objects uh, back and forth. You're going to see all that wrapped up together in this uh, alert mission here uh, later on when when uh, they actually kind of get further in and, and uh, release, uh, well, I'll go ahead and spoil it, but release Doomsday, or a clone of Doomsday uh, in here. Now, with the alerts, you saw, um, uh, or Keo touched on it uh, a little bit earlier, where the alert missions are really kind of that introductory uh, uh, kind of way to, to learn about grouping, where you can do things in the open world, queue up for this, and then uh, once it's ready, jump in. Um, as you can see, Kyle is uh, kind of showing some of the combat moves here. And so going back to the action reaction, you know, this, this game is so much fast paced in terms of combat and, and the cadence and, and firing off the combos. 
So, you know, as, as Kyle's showing, he can kind of uh, uh, fire off one uh, attack uh, based on here, this combo tree here. And you can see how he has a stunning swipe. So Yen's had basically one or two of these things unlocked. This is a level 30 character that has, has unlocked uh, uh, further on into the, the combo tree here. Throw so the, what are some of the swords. combos you're uh, showing right here? So a couple things I can do. Uh, I have a couple ranged attacks, even though I'm a uh, melee character. I can do a sword throw, so I throw both my swords and they come back out to me. Uh, I also have just kind of a basic range attack where I'm just throwing a little knife. Uh, I have a couple different combos I can do. Uh, if I do tap, 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 hold, I'll do a big stun attack. Uh, you saw me earlier, I'll see if I can do it again, but I can do an ultra flurry, which is basically that spin attack I was doing. It's a little hard to pull off, so we'll see if we can get it. And I messed up. <laughs> <laughs> So there's a there's a definite measure of skill we go. involved in uh, getting the most out of your character, which is really cool because it'll separate the uh, pros from the amateurs. Well, it also gives you more depth, right? You can learn the tactics, but if you need the skills to pull it off, then there's a lot more of that sort of twitch play in here. Now we're in Smallville, and of course Lex Luthor has sort of run his own experiment here, right? Infecting the citizens of Smallville, and it's up to you guys now to stop this final phase of this. You're going to see an iconic slugfest right here. There's going to be lots of heroes and, and a very powerful villain. All right, Taking so the bus for a whole new meaning, right? <laughs> there we go. Apparently the Kent Farm has its own bus stop. Which <laughs> 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 so we are playing with, with uh, eight other people, or seven other people, um, inside of this uh, alert mission here. Uh, they have different roles you can see in the top, uh, or on the left side there. Uh, that's what uh, Chris was talking about earlier in terms of uh, healing role, damage role, controller role. Uh, Kyle is playing an ice guy that's a, a tanker, so um, you have a lot of powers that, that buff you up, and you can use ice to in, in case uh, yourself with with uh, armor. He's the guy that has to stand in front of Doomsday, basically. Is <laughs> so as a heart main indicate, obviously that's the healer. The flames is damage. This sort of swirl is control, and the tank would be a shield. When he, you can see. Kyle switched into the tank boat. All right, so what are you doing here, Kyle? So we've come. Uh, Doomsday is being used to, to basically generate all these clones. So we're going to go ahead and shut the machine down, and we'll see what happens. Where's Doomsday? There he is. He is just stuck. He's looking yeah. happy. Well, you should let him out, Kyle, obviously. That's Actually, great my idea. plan, my plan would be to leave him in the <laughs> field, personally. Go get a sandwich, be like, oh, good. The field is feeding continuous DNA reinforcement to Lex's experiment subjects. 